Uh, improved on our first two weeks, continues putting up points, um, playing poise, playing our game of football, um, did it on the ground, did it in the air, being able to get everybody involved. Uh, and I think that was the, the start of our, 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 our day and our drives, finishing the end zone. And then I guess in the, I was just going to say, in the second half, obviously things didn't go as well. What, what do you think changed from uh, I think they, they played us pretty well, starting to get after us, uh, kind of got after the quarterback a little bit, um, attacking the ground game. But really it was just, we just got to play our game, um, stay poised. Um, it was either either time or points, and we just got to finish with points, obviously. Um, but we, we controlled the clock at the end. You had a couple of explosive plays in the first half. There were some other games that moved the chains. How much did the pass game help open up Derek in the run game for what y'all need to do? Yeah, I think uh, myself, um, Nick, um, Traylon, uh, I think all the guys being able to, Jeff, um, all the guys playing fast, being able to get to certain spots fast, um, was able to. Um, they were, trying to, they were trying to get after the run. They were blitzing and stuff like that, finding the soft spots in the zones, playing fast, all the guys getting to their locations. I think that allowed us to play fast, open up the pass game, and then uh, really just back them up, uh, have to res respect the pass game. We have a great back. Um, when we do that, um, he's going to get it done on the ground. Robert, you had in the pass game, especially the RPO and then also the corner route. Yeah. How is that coming along with you and Tannehill? It seemed like it was really good today. Just uh, playing our game, being able to get open, find our spots, uh, have the, the right coverage, uh, right timing, being able to protect our quarterback. He could deliver all the throws. Um, you saw that today, whether it's RPO or downfield, play action. Uh, he's capable of making every single throw. We make the, make him have time. Robert, even though things did slow down um, in, in the second half, the fact that you guys have those three early touchdowns, you guys see maybe that visible progress from the first two weeks. Is that kind of nice to head into the new week, kind of building off of that? Yeah, I would say, I, I mean, I know we won and stuff. Not, not a lot of guys are, are pleased with our, our, our ending. Um, so it, it's just a start. Obviously, um, we, we started fast before uh, scoring on our first drives. Um, this time we started fast for a half. Um, we just got to make some corrections and, and play a full four quarters. Obviously, we played uh, complete football, whether it's offense, defense, and special teams. But uh, we just need it for four quarters. No matter what, we, he come to work. And... Um... <clears throat> Like this week here, it was it was showing us what we do good and uh, and how can we build off that. And like I said, that's right there. That shows what type of team we are. It shows the type of coach you, um, Coach Ray is. And like I said, when we came in this week, it was like this what we this what when we do, rolling when we doing stuff good. This how when we rolling. But I mean, of course, you know, when we doing stuff that hurting the team, we're gonna lose game like that. So, and then, like I said, I respect him by doing that each and every week. Come in, win or loss, um, showing us what we get, what we're doing good, but also showing us the thing that getting us beat. You guys also, though, when you lose, though, you're, you're missing, you know, Bud and those guys. So, you're kind of strap personnel-wise, how big is it to put some of these other guys to step up and make some plays in that situation? Um, that's that's what our team builds on. Um, you know, no matter what, each and every week, in and out. You know, everyone, no matter if you just got in today on game day, you have to prepare like you're starting into this game and. And that's how, um, and I, that's why I respect from you know our team, our coaches, because they get guys ready to play in the game, and that just props to them guys on the back end for sure, and up front. That's the whole team just by communicating with these new guys. You know, everyone bonded and gelling together on game day. See the what you guys went through last year with all the injuries and whatnot. Has that kind of become the expectation that if your numbers fall, you got to go in there and step it up and, and replace that guy? Like I said, that's what our team built on. You know, you know, no, we never know what may happen. We get the game, somebody might feel sick, whatever it may be. Each and every day, no matter if you're a practice squad guy, you're a 10-year vet. You have to play this game. You have to prepare like you're getting ready to play any game. And I, like I said, that's what we build on our team on because you never know when your number will be called. A guy like Dylan Cole, a perfect example of that, two deflected passes on the last drive. And big for him, like Coach said after the game, man. Last week they got him, and this week, you know, you take the correction, and you show it on the, um, this week here, he made a big play. And that's what we talk about each and every week. How can you, how can you take the coaching, you know, learn from the mistake, and come back and fix it the next um, week? And, um, he's always going to be brave. He's expect a lot out of us. You can't, uh, you can't panic, and you can't um, over, you know, over worry about something that happened last week. So I think 
we just came in this week and, and worried about ourselves, not about the other teams that we played before. Who is just getting back to ourselves and doing what we do, and we knew we'd be able to handle business. They obviously got some okay. big plays on the outside with some of their secondary guys. Would you say the plan basically worked? I mean, obviously Adams and, and Wall didn't do a lot. Today. Yeah, I mean, it, like you said, I mean, anytime you can take out the key, their key threats, and that um, everyone's going to game plan for and prepare for. Then uh, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to win the game, and I think, like you mentioned, when people notice that, it's going to make it hard for the teams we're playing if we can uh, eliminate their top threats. And so we did what we what we plan to go out there and do uh, with those two. What's this mean just to, to, to watch the Buffalo game and you know get the first one? I mean, this this meant a lot for me and the team. I mean, overall as a team, um, first win on the season, and then to do it at home in front of our fans, and then that was my first career start. Um, in the NFL, so that's a great feeling. And then to add a win on top of it makes you be able to enjoy it. And um, that's what I'm going to do, just enjoy the rest of the night with my teammates and my uh, family and come in, take care of the body tomorrow, and prepare for the Colts. We want to see something like that happen to one of our guys. He's one of our brothers. But it's always this mentality of the next guy up in this league. And that's how guys get opportunities, and you got to take advantage of those. Thank you. Congrats. Given what he's felt with the last couple of yeah, you never want to see a, he's a good buddy of mine. Um, spent a lot of time playing, a lot of snaps with him. Um, you never want to see a guy uh, get hurt. Um, love the guy to death, and hope everything comes back better. Yeah, um, Buffalo, we went right on the field in the first drive and executed. Um, we just, we were executing. No matter if it was third and long, third and short, um, we were converting, and we got to do that in the second half. Um, we, every guy was making plays. It wasn't just one guy. Um, that's what this thing is. It's about making plays and maintaining drives and giving guys opportunities to make plays. It's just about a mindset, you know. Uh, it's about bending, don't break. Uh, you know, like I said, those guys in the NFL, they're going to make plays. But once we get to the red zone, you know, we want to hold them to three points no matter what. Uh, and that's what we did today. You know, we uh, stepped it up. You know, uh, we wanted to hold them to a four-point play, basically what we say, you know, get them to hold them to the three. And uh, a lot of guys stepped up, you know, made plays, and we executed. That was the big thing. How hard was it to keep bouncing back there, those fourth down plays? Mm -hmm. those fourth yeah. down plays. How hard was it to keep bouncing back after they succeeded on it? Uh, I mean, you just got to keep playing, you know, no matter what it is. You know, we always have that next play mentality. You know, uh, they're going to make plays, but we got to make more than them at the end of the day. That's our mindset. So whenever they make one, you know, we got to recoup and reset, you know, not worry about the last play and make the next one. Uh, for sure, because uh, we know it was a big task. You know, even though they're missing some guys, they still have some of the top guys in the league. So we knew it was going to be a test. We knew it was going to be a fight, and um, we executed more than they did. Um, they made a couple of plays, but uh, I'm comfortable. We're well, not comfortable. Never comfortable. But uh, I'm happy with the performance that we had. And how important is it you build off this win today going into yeah. next week? Very big. Uh, still early in the season. You know, we, we still have time. You know, to turn things around after the one two start. And it's good to get this win. You know, it's a great feeling. It's something that we want to keep. Communicated just on the back end, just stopping them two guys. That was our focus, not just only 17, but both of them. And I feel like we did good on our end. We just got to um, figure out the errors on the game and just go into the next. You guys have three chances on fourth down to slam the door on that last drive, and, and each one gets away from you. How hard is it to get it back together on that two point conversion and say, we're, we're good, we're going to get this stop? Oh, yeah, that's what it's all about on defense. I mean, they're going to make plays. It's just on to the next play. We still have more room to play. We knew the two point conversion was going to come, we just on to the next. And we finished it, and I feel like we did good. And it's your third game in the NFL. Mm -hmm. are, are you learning fast that it's never really over? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what I was talking to Caleb about. He was telling me, like, just the lead, like, it all come down to the end. Like, it was it was tough out there, I would say. But um, me, as of my third game under my belt, I would say I'm still learning along the way. And I feel like this game right here, in that situation there, they're going to help me a lot for the future. So I'm happy that I've been in that situation.